Welcome to our contribution to the 2022 edition of the BVM conference. Here, we present an idea that, that allowed us to segment cortical bone from trabecular bone and X-ray microscopy data, XRM for short, using a neural network while training it on a similar modality, the microCT. Data generated from both imaging modalities are comparable as can be seen here. The major advantage of the XRM is the increase in resolution. In our case, the micro CT data had a resolution of about 8.4 micrometers, while the XRM had a resolution of about 1.4 micrometers. The increase in resolution allows imaging of small structures inside the bone, as can be seen here in the, on the very right. These structures are channels where the recently discovered transcortical vessels reside and lacunae in which the more well-known osteocytes reside. Cortical bone segmentation allows for more extensive analysis of these structures and thus cortical bone segmentation in XRM data is of great interest. Due to the complexity of the problem, especially considering potential disease models that have a strong influence on the bone structure, we decided to go for a machine learning approach with diverse training data. While we did not have any labeled XRM data for this, micro CT labels were available. Thus, we decided to train a neural network for XRM data using only micro CT data for training. First, we trained a neural network using the micro CT labels with the NN unit framework. Then, we evaluated the resulting neural network on micro CT test data. Here at the top in A and B, example results of the neural network can be seen. Orange is the overlap of labels and predictions, while yellow is label only and purple is prediction only. We calculated the mean F1 and IOU scores and found both values to be satisfactory. Additionally, we performed segmentation on the raw data using both the labels and the predictions and compared the results. This can be found here in C and D. All white voxels are segmented by using either the prediction or the manual label as a segmentation mask. Purple voxels are only kept with a segmentation using the prediction, while yellow voxels only remain after segmentation using the manual labels. The average difference in segmented volume was only 0.6%. We thus concluded the neural network to provide good performance and to be suitable for cortical bone segmentation in micro CT data. Having confirmed the performance of the neural network, we then took the XRM data and downsampled it to further increase similarity to micro CT data and to equalize the level of context. Then we ran inference on the downsampled XRM data to obtain a segmentation mask. An upsampling process was required to then be able to segment on the unaltered original XRM data set. As no labels were available, we confirmed the performance on XRM data visually. Here at the top in A and B, 2D results of the predictions can be seen in yellow on top of the original data and gray values. The trabecular bone is not labeled by the neural network where the cortical bone is. And C and D, the results of the segmentation using the predictions from A and B can be seen. White shows the cortical bone, while yellow shows the trabecular bone. We found more erroneously predicted parts, but found the overall results to be satisfactory. If you are interested in the presented subject, be sure to read our written version that contains more details. Thank you for your attention.